is Emma Little Pengeli. Uh, she is the uh, DUP's candidate uh, in Belfast South. Uh, and uh, do you get the impression that the other parties are rather ganging up against you? Well, there's been a number of parties that have withdrawn um, from Belfast South um, and other constituencies. Of course, that's common, I understand, across many constituencies in the UK. But yes, it does make the challenge a difficult one, but it's a challenge that I am up for. We will fight for this and we can do it. But of course, it's all about candidates motivating their voters to come out and support them in this election. I mean, some people might wonder, you know, what's the point of voting for the DUP, given that you're out of step uh, with public opinion of Northern Ireland on Brexit, and you've now uh, broken with the Conservatives, so you don't have leverage over them? Well, there are many issues involved in an election. Brexit is one of them. In many of the DUP constituencies, there are very strong leave-supporting um, voters. Um, and, of course, in Belfast South, the many thousands of people who came out to support me um, voted to leave in the referendum. The DUP put very clearly in our manifesto, that, as did, by the way, the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, that it was the right and honourable thing to do to honour the referendum, the decision of the entire of the UK. It was a UK-wide referendum. But, of course, there are many, many issues at play here, particularly in relation to the union. Um, I've been meet, speaking to many constituents who have made very clear that what they care about most of all is the union. Um, the Democratic Unionist Party will stand up strongly for the union. We've done so so far, and that is the platform in which we're standing on now. But the DUP also want to see the restoration of the Northern Ireland Assembly here. We want to see uh, investment in our public uh, services. And of course, the DUP, of course, got £1.5 billion for public services in Northern Ireland over the course of the last parliamentary parliament. So that's evidence that the DUP delivers for people in Northern Ireland. That's why we're asking people to vote for us. That's why we're going out in the doors and, and talking to people. And yeah, trying but to the, pro the problem you've got the is that the party, election. the Conservative Party that you helped keep in power has now turned on you and is going to introduce the one thing you're absolutely opposed to, i.e. a situation where Northern Ireland is going to have an effective border in uh, trade areas uh, from the rest of the, uh, the United Kingdom, from Great Britain. So that's a, a massive slap in the face, isn't it? Well, the DUP have very clearly said we, we see this deal as a bad deal. Um, we've said that publicly, we've said that to the Prime Minister, but of course we do have many friends across many of the parties in Parliament, particularly in the Conservative Party. There are many people in the Conservative Party who are also strong unionists, who I think have concerns about the proposal around the Irish Sea border. Uh, this is a bad proposal. Um, Boris Johnson has the ability to get that changed. That's what we're asking him to do. And of course, if there is a hung Parliament, which many of the polls have been predicting, and given the uncertainty around around uh, many of the political parties in the current situation. Uh, we believe that that is a, a, a possibility again. In that situation, of course, we will be standing up for the union. We'll be making clear to Boris Johnson that if we were to support a Conservative government, it would be absolutely on the condition of reopening that issue and making sure that uh, Northern Ireland stays as a key part of the United Kingdom, that there's not those significant hard internal borders down the Irish Sea. Now, another number of uh, prominent MPs are standing down at this election. We've just heard last night from Northern Ireland that, uh, uh, obviously, she's a political rival, but the independent unionist uh, Sylvia Herman is standing down. What, what are your thoughts on her? Do you, do you regret the fact that she's standing down? Well, I was only in Parliament from 2017, but I've worked with her over the last number of years. We've worked together on many issues. Of course, there were issues we disagreed with um, and she took a different stance on, but we always worked well together and I really want to wish her all the very best in her retirement as she steps down. I, I mean, she is going to be a loss in, in, in the sense for Northern Ireland as a whole in as much as she was such a well-known figure, uh, trying to find uh, the moderate centre, if one could put it like that. Well, Lady Sylvia had uh, a number of uh, views and opinions, many of those she agreed with the DUP on, some of those uh, she did not. But of course the big problem here um, for Northern Ireland is that many of the voices are not represented because Sinn Féin do not take their seats. We are there, we, we turn up, we are in Parliament, we're standing up for what we have committed to do in our manifesto, we're standing up for the Union. But of course Lady Sylvia's uh, views and opinions were unusual in that sense because all of those other parties, the, the Sinn 
Sinn Féin party does not turn up, all of those other seats do not turn up to put across those different views. So therefore, there is a strong DUP voice in Parliament. Um, and that's what we want again. But of course, it, it is an issue for other parties. They're asking people um, to vote for them, but they're not taking their seats. I think that's why it's particularly disappointing that the SDLP seem to have done this uh, deal with Sinn Féin, where they are backing or they're, they've pulled out um, to try to uh, presumably support Sinn Féin, an abstentionist in North Belfast. So what the SDLP are saying to people is that, look, you know, we're not going to contest this so that the person who gets in will not take their seat. So the person who gets in will not actually be representing the people of North Belfast, a constituency with significant issues and challenges and needs, a constituency that needs the strong leadership of Nigel Dodds, somebody who has stood up for them. And likewise in South Belfast with Sinn Féin pulling out, I think that is a bad message to send to people, that this uh, abstentionism is OK on certain constituencies, provided Sinn Féin support other uh, candidates in other constituencies. You've got uh, 10 seats now. What do you think the prospects are for the DUP in, in this election? Well, I think there's a very strong chance that we do come back with 10 seats. I think there's also um, opportunities in terms of picking up seats in areas like North Down. And, of course, we will be fighting for every one of those seats. The DUP doesn't take um, our seats for granted. We don't take voters for granted. We will get out there. We will work hard. We will explain to them uh, and show them the difference that the DUP has made because we have been there and standing up, that we have got the $1.5 billion for them, that we've been a strong voice. We've stopped bad deals and proposals for Northern Ireland, and we will continue to do so. Okay, uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Emma